Thanks to all my fellow crafters. Welcome back to my channel and to the Origami Workshop. In today's episode, we're looking at another project involving the 2D origami art we've covered in the previous two. The origami heart and the flower from two weeks ago. So this time we're going to make an origami cross decoration. So we have our two pieces of origami paper, 15 by 15 centimetres or 6 inches by 6 inches in old money. And our trusty glue stick as well. As you can see on this one we're using different we're going to use different origami paper compared to the plain ones we've used in some of our earlier projects. This is part of a, a super stack of origami paper I bought um, from a craft shop um, well, some time ago I think when I first got back into origami a few years ago and it's um there's, there's so many different there's so many different patterns as well and they work and it works very well with this particular one which will which will show which I'll show you in just a moment. So without further ado with our glue stick, we've got our paper. Let's uh let's make a start and make our origami cross. I mean turn the origami paper into a cross decoration, not make it angry if um, if any if anyone asks. <laughs> Right, so without further ado, let's get started. So we take one sheet of our origami paper, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over. So we've got the, so we've got the pattern side on the table, and just turn, we're going to just turn it around. So it looks um, from a square to a diamond. Uh, without further ado, let's start off. We'll start our first fold. So we take this top part of the diamond and we're going to fold it over making sure the point meets the bottom point of the diamond let's fold it over like so open it out and then repeat that on the on this side on this side as well going the left taking the left point of the diamond and folding over onto the right hand point of the diamond let's open it out and we've now got our four folds now the reason we've now the reason we folded that into four smaller triangles is i'm just about to show you is when we when we fold out when we do the next step these various folds will act as markers for where each where the next fold is going to go as you've probably seen from well as you've seen from earlier episodes of Origami Workshop or if you are new to this this series but with the origami many of the folds you do earlier in the project will play a part later in the project so so the, the folds will not will naturally follow each other as I'm just about to demonstrate now to create our, our cross, we're going to fold over our paper, we're going to use the left hand side first, just fold that over, like so. So we've got our, so we've got the point of that part of the diamond is going to aim, we're going to aim for this, this fold line here, so that point lines up with that fold. Let's give you a, let's just give you a closer look. See the, you see the point there on the, on the diamond so that's going that's got so that's got to land on that line right so with that over then what we do once that fold is complete we're going to fold over the this point we're going to fold it back on itself like that so we create another triangle. So when so as we so what we do is when when this one goes over the fold as you as you fold the triangle that fold will should fall on that on your center line here. I you can see very you can see it very clearly here, but see that that fold there we folded over that that point of the half of the diamond. That's yeah. That has landed on that fold line like that. Now 
and just re uh, just repeat that process on the on the other on the right hand side using the point of the other you know, using the point of the other triangle as a, as a reference so when that folds over aim for the tip of the triangle see so you've just seen my fingernail is there so we've got the tip of that point in the diamond as it folds over that will naturally land on the tip of the previous fold we've just done and just to finish this part we're going to fold that top part over to create another triangle as the as the same as the previous side like that So that's the first so that's the first stage we've already gone across now it's all folded let's tight just going to tie this up a little bit so so there we go that's the first part of our origami triangle and just to just before we move on to the next stage we're going to just going to glue down these these two triangles here it'll just include just include the various parts down there's this little bit of our glue stick here to hold it all together like let's fold it back over push it down and then just a little bit of glue on the where the triangle sits same on that side Right, so that's the first part of our origami cross and we're just going to put it over there for a moment so now that's dry now we need to repeat now we need to repeat that step again because we'll need we need two halves to make the cross so so as we so as before I'll, leave, I'll just leave that one here as well so you can see what it looks like so as before Turn the paper over, rotate it so it's in a diamond shape, fold the first half of the, so fold the diamond in half, making sure the two points on the top on the top and bottom of the diamond meet at the top, and fold and just repeat on the previous side. diamond shape with our folds now over we go and when you fold the top part of that triangle over as before make sure the make sure that fold when it smooths out make sure it lands on that center fold line here as before and just repeat that on the right hand side but on the right hand side you have a when you do the second one you have a you have a triangle shape there to aim for and so let's fold once that's folded over just fold the top of our triangle over as you did on the previous one aiming for the center fold line and there's the other part and once all your folding's done, we'll give we'll just put some we'll just put a little bit of glue on there to hold it down. Let's push those down. Same with this side. Oh, I'm not really um well just while we're waiting for this just gluing these parts together I'm not quite sure how I learned how to do this one it might have been from 
one of my other origami mentors um there's a gentleman at the mental health um, charity i i attend for support for my anxiety or it may have possibly been my other origami mentor from the local craft cafe at the community hub um um, it was yeah Agnes, the my, um, lady from Poland, I mentioned in a previous um, in a previous video. So it might it might have been it might have been her but, uh, possibly taught me this one. Or well, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm not sure on that one. That's for that's what I think about that one. See how I learn to do this particular. One bit for um, either of my two origami mentors are uh, watching this uh, video. Wherever you are, this one's for you. Anyway, so back to so back to our project. We've got our two we've got two halves of origami cross. The glue's just as you see is just drying. So to finish up. Put some, we put a little bit of, we put a little bit of glue on here on the on any one of the two parts of the cross and we'll take the other origami from part of the cross and we just press it down we'll just glue it on top like so so the tips of the so the top top sorry the two parts of the triangles here the two parts you fold over so this so that particular point will go there and the other one will go there and um, fortunately it's not quite it's not quite lined up there but don't yeah don't worry too much if it doesn't because i think this origami stack i bought the paper's not quite cut to the same measurements as the um, the plain coloured origami paper we used in some of the previous videos. I think this one might be sort of 14 a bit centimetres rather than 15 exactly. But that's not that's not the end of the world. I mean, if you do if you do buy an origami stack and it's not quite the 15 fifth by 15 centimetres normally used, then just adjust your folds accordingly to sort of compensate, and that and everything will work out just fine. Just it did here, in fact. So there we have it. Or we have our origami cross decoration. And as with the to the origami flower we did in our previous in the previous video, this is one we can use as a decoration because they put it on a they put it on your on your shelf or put it on a canvas with a coloured background or some mounting board perhaps or some card. Or um, or even put it on a on a greetings card. Perhaps the the flower one would be very good for. I know for Mother's Day, perhaps. Obviously, we. Well, yeah, something like Mother's Day or a birthday or an anniversary. The yeah, literally the sky's the limit, and it doesn't have to always be a. It can be a cross. Yes, it can be a. Yeah, because I would do it that way. That way, or sort of. The sort of the plus like that, or it can be, a, or it can be an X, or it could be a, or it could even, or you could even use it like a, we could even use this like a toy as well for like a pay for airplane, like a flying, like a boomerang or something. In fact, it does remind me a little bit of um, um, a cardboard toy I had in a, in a box of cereals when I was younger. I can't remember what, what it was for. It was probably for a time with some movie or tv shows they often were when i was a kid so, um, so yeah there's so multiple uses for that project yeah multiple uses so while we let that dry unfortunately that's all we've got time for today on origami workshop hope you enjoyed the video as usual don't forget to give us a like or um, give us a comment or if, you, um, if you haven't already subscribed you're missing out you're missing out you're missing out on all the episodes of origami workshop just just click the subscribe button also hit the notification bell and you'll get notifications from youtube as soon as our next videos are uploaded as usual you can also follow us on social media facebook instagram twitter and also for our social media channels are coming up at the end of this video also follow us on patreon help support our work in the community and also a quick note for our UK viewers, 
You can also follow us on nextdoor.co.uk. We have a we have a group there with around a hundred members where people are learning with us and they're shopping with us every week. So you can be part of that. You can be part of that little group and also join us for our other events as well, such so as our monthly market stalls, our Christmas fair season, and also our new community groups will be launched second half of this year. So if you are a UK viewer and you are um if you do oh if you are a UK viewer and you do have access to nextdoor.co.uk, just type in running me crafts. Just click invite and we'll let you into the group. And you can learn the craft with us that way. And also be part of the growing craft community here. And last but definitely not least, you can also follow us on you can also find us and shop with us on our website, www.runningmecrafts.com. Just click the online store icon on the home page and you can also access this channel, our social media channels, look at pictures from our community events, events and also dates for our, for our local market stalls, gift shops, and, our, and, also, and also check in on our community work as well. Much to see, yeah, there's much to see and do in this series and all the other series on the currently on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, if you're not a regular viewer of Origami Workshop, by all means have a look. Check out the other the other projects we've done. There's also there's Nick there's Nick Machine Workshop. There's episode four of that going out next month, and we've got we've got lots and lots of different seasonal and non-seasonal craft videos coming up right the way through the year and beyond. So you'll be well and truly catered for to craft to your heart's content. So once again, thank you for watching, take care, stay crafty, and sign off for now.